As far as I know, the cardinal principle followed by survey politicians is that you never put up a motion knowing that it will fail. You never put up a motion knowing that it will fail. And this is the second time that, in fact, the other side had done that. Some time ago, it was done by his son, the member for Caribbean Shores. Now the father is supporting it. The basic principle when it comes to no confidence motion, the basic procedure, the very basic procedure, Madam Speaker, is for those members on the other side who believe that they have a chance of getting a motion of no confidence to succeed is to have private discussions with members on the other side, those who are in government, who might be disgruntled with the administration and the leadership of the government and see to what extent you can persuade them to join you in a motion of no confidence. Don't be surprised that we are calling on you to resign because you have failed the people. A once bustling free zone in the north, which was the lifeblood of the north, when, they, when things were bad with the drought and all that, that too is on life support. And the one pillar that is holding up the economy, tourism and the services, all centers, etc., that is a very vulnerable pillar, let me tell you. It's a vulnerable pillar that's holding up the entire edifice. Because with the crime situation and the corona threat, that whole industry can be wiped out overnight. We don't wish it. We don't wish it. Of course not, Minister. Don't talk foolishness, man. Why should anybody want that? Only the people are suffering and they will suffer more. How did we as a nation, 38 years after our political independence, come to this sorry past?